Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. We are back to regularly scheduled programming now. I have gotten my sense of smell back, which means I've started warming wax again in my house, which means we are back in business. So I have got a basket here of wax that I've warmed. This is kind of over the last two weeks. Um, and so it's not a huge basket, but it is enough to make a video here today for what I've been warming Wednesday. So we'll do the open layout first. The first thing I did was six cubes of a bar of Jumpin' Jelly Bean in the open layout. And this one is like pear jelly bean. Like a very bright, juicy, sweet, kind of slightly tart pear jelly bean. And this one changed on warm. So the first maybe four or five hours, this was just straight up bright, juicy, pretty strong pear jelly bean. And over time, it kind of got a more like bakery note to it. It almost became like a caramelized pear. Um, rather than that pear jelly bean. Both stages I really liked. They were both very nice. It kind of reminded me, not initially, but after after it turned to that caramelized pear, it reminded me a bit of casting spells um, from last Bring Back My Bar round. A lot of people didn't like casting spells. I didn't mind it at all. Um, but Jumpin' Jelly Bean reminded me a lot of that after it got to that kind of caramelized phase. Um, I quite liked it. I thought it was a great performer. It did about two days, like 48 hours in the open layout pretty good and reasonably strong as well so we were happy with that one um, and there's that for me this is the kind of scent I would want to warm like maybe once a year it's not a scent I would want constantly or over and over again but it was really enjoyable and I'm glad I have a little bit left next in the open layout I did a mix this I did starting last night so I did four cubes of cinnamon buttercream this one is like a buttercream frosting with like cinnamon and mascarpone cheese and it's like a it's not what you think of when you think traditional buttercream it's not quite as sweet as a traditional buttercream and it does have that kind of tartness from the like cheese and I'm not sure I love it but for whatever reason this was just kind of speaking to me yesterday I wanted something cozy and bakery because it's been snowing here um Ooh. And then I mixed it with French toast. So French toast is a bring back my bar from a while back. This is also coming back this June and bring back my bar. So this will be available again in a few months. And this one is very mapley. It's like a sweet maple bakery type scent. Very heavy on the maple. I almost get like a tiny bit of banana. Maybe just a teeny bit of spice. But I almost get like something... I'll have to check the notes on this, but there's like a sweetness in here that kind of reminds me of like a banana type sweetness. It doesn't scream banana by any means, but I get like very mapley sweet type scent. And it did pair quite nicely with the cinnamon buttercream. So I did four cubes cinnamon buttercream, two cubes French toast in my open layout, and that was really nice. Not overly long lasting, um, like less than 24 hours, but very pleasant, very nice, but a medium strength while it lasted. Pretty happy with that. Um, but in a cinnamon buttercream, it was new last fall. It's likely to come back this fall um, for that reason. It's kind of just okay for me. I'll probably pick up another bar when it comes back, but this is not a must-have for me. Um, it is very lovely though. I will probably keep a bar around for mixing. French toast. I'm gonna, I have enough here for an open layout warm, and I am gonna do this in the open layout on its own to give you guys a review before Bring Back My Bar comes back. So there's that. And the last thing I've done in my open layout recently is banana berry. So I had six cubes here and I finished this bar in the open layout for my husband's birthday. This one is like, it smells like vanilla pudding with some like berry sweetness. This one with age to my nose has gotten more strawberry to it. It kind of reminds me almost a little bit on warm of cotton candy cookie. Like it's that very sweet kind of gooey strawberry note like it's a it's a much lighter version almost of cotton candy cookie with like a tiny bit of banana i don't know usually this one smells kind of like vanilla pudding to me i don't know if it's just my sense of smell is a little bit different still or if this bar has actually changed with some age but this one on warm i kept thinking i had cotton candy cookie going it smells very sweet kind of gooey cotton candy berry-ish um with less banana which in my opinion is an improvement because i didn't care for the banana note in this so this was nice, very light, like extremely light. 
um, maybe like a two or three out of 10 and definitely like 12 hours or less. So not a long performer, not a great performer. Um, I do have a couple more bars of this because my husband really enjoys it, but it is not one that I have in my club or anything like that. It is very pleasant. I think it could be stronger and I think if it was stronger, it would, it would be very popular. Then I did the Wax War bars. So the Wax War that won was the Purple Berries. So we have Black Raspberry Vanilla and Vanilla Blackberry. Um, during this Wax War, I was on day two and my sense of smell completely gave out. So I'm going to repeat this Wax War. I do have more of this, of this scent. So we are in business for another Wax War. I'm going to repeat it before I film that video, um, just to make sure the results are the same because this one, I couldn't smell very well during the wax war and that might have been because my nose was giving out on me. So there is that, but I will repeat that and we will do wax wars on Thursday. Then in my daughter's room, all we've done recently is grapefruit sunshine. This one is kind of like a creamy grapefruit scent. It's bright. Got like a little bit of like a, almost like a savoriness to it, but not quite. The grapefruit is nicely done here. It's like vibrant and a little bit creamy and smooth. It's very pretty, very pleasant. Um, maybe like a light medium, like maybe a four or five out of 10. Not bad and not terribly long lasting, like less than 24 hours in her room, um, but nice. Very nice while it lasted. For me, I don't know if this would be a repurchase, but I really do enjoy it and I'm glad to have more of it as well. So really enjoyable. Um, not sure I would need more of it forever and ever, but it's it's very nice. Then in the bathrooms, all I've done recently is finished up my bar of You're the One. So this one was from the Valentine's line. It was like, I want to say aloe vera. Maybe there's cucumber here. Cucum cucumber, cucumber peel. Definitely cucumber. Ooh. It's very fresh. A little bit aquatic. Um, a little bit sweet as well. So it's a bit sweeter than some of the scents that are in this vein. Very pleasant, very fresh. It lasts a good couple days in the bathroom. I really enjoy it in the bathroom. Um, glad to have had this. I don't have it in my club or anything and I can't get more, but I really did enjoy it. It was a nice little one to have. Then in our bedroom. So I couldn't smell for the longest time, like I said. So I had stargazing going. Stargazing is very strong. It's like cotton blossoms, vanilla, and I want to say there's like jasmine in here or white flowers. It's a very like clean, powdery, cozy type scent. Very pretty, perfect for the bedroom. I love this one, especially for this time of year before it's hot. Um, very beautiful. That said, I could not smell this for a while, but I had this in my room, I want to say three days before my sense of smell came back. So I couldn't smell it at first and it was probably very strong, but I, I wouldn't know it. So then over time, it's still going. I had it going 24 hours a day in there. I could start getting whiffs of like vanilla on like one of the days. And I was like, that's, I wonder if that's the vanilla from stargazing. So then gradually my sense of smell came back and I could still smell this like strongly. Like when you walked into the room, you'd be like, oh, it's stargazing. Like you could recognize it immediately as stargazing. That was by like day five of this going. You could still like walk into the room and smell it and identify it. Um, I finally took this out on like day nine and I could still smell it. So stargazing is a ridiculously great performer. Like the bang for your buck with this wax. I did take it out of my club because I have like seven bars of this. And because two cubes lasted like nine days in my bedroom, I think that's why I was comfortable taking it out of my club because it lasts forever. <laughs> like it is so strong and so long lasting, but like at a nice level, like it's never like punch you in the face strong. It just stays like at a really nice like level for a very long time. Um, that said, it's a nice strength because when you walk into the room, you can smell it and it's just very beautiful. So highly recommend stargazing if you have any way to get your hands on that. This was a scent of the month, I think last July. It was a weird scent of the month for July because this is not a July type scent. This is kind of a cool weather type scent in my opinion, um, but lovely. The last thing I warmed and the most recent thing I warmed is from the Mother's Day collection. And this is whipped vanilla lavender. So this one is like, I want to say coconut milk, whipped vanilla and lavender, like English lavender. And it's very pretty. So this one reminds me, and I kind of wondered if this would well, be I was thinking about how 
Simply Vanilla has coconut milk in the notes as well and how it doesn't really smell like coconut it just kind of makes it smell very well-rounded and like very smooth and well-rounded and this is kind of how coconut milk is playing in here too so this is kind of very similar to Simply Vanilla with the addition of like a lavender and I would say the lavender is a little bit powdery and a little bit clean it's not really a like medicinal essential oil type lavender nor is it a soapy lavender but it is a tiny bit powdery and quite clean so it's kind of like a overall the scent is like powdery clean and like very soft the softest is that vanilla and it's very much like a body care type vanilla i did get this in the body care as well i haven't started using it yet i don't know i haven't um i couldn't smell so i haven't used the body care yet but i think it's going to be amazing in the body care this is a perfect body care type scent and beautiful so i had this in the bedroom two cubes i will say this is very light so this is what i have in there right now and it is i would say light you can't really smell it unless you're close to the warmer um i do have hope that with age this will get stronger so i'm seeing the pour date on this these were just poured march 17th so these were poured just a couple weeks ago so these are brand new so i'm thinking that with a few months of age these might get very very nice and perform much better so what I'm going to do is keep this in my club because this scent is one that I love. Like this is the kind of scent I've always wanted Scentsy to have. Like a, a nice classic lavender vanilla. And this is a beautiful one. They've done a beautiful job with this. This is everything we could want in a lavender vanilla in my opinion. It's beautiful. That said, light performer. But I am going to put it in my club anyways and see how this ages. And if it ages into something that is a bit more powerful, I will keep it in my club forever and ever and ever. If it does not get stronger with age. I think a good substitute for this, if you don't want to put this in your club or don't want to get this, would be Simply Vanilla and French Lavender mixed two to one with French Lavender having more cubes. Um, I think you get pretty close to this with that mix. Um, this is just nice because it's all in one package and you don't have to worry about mixing, but I think a good substitute if you have Simply Vanilla in your club would be to do one cube Simply Vanilla to two cubes French Lavender and you'd be pretty darn close to this. It's beautiful. Like, I love this. So I do have hope that this will get stronger with time. Very lovely. <clears throat> and that is what I've warmed in the last couple of weeks. So I'm kind of getting back into the swing of melting again. So I'm very excited to have more to share with you again next week. And I will repeat the wax war in the next day or two so that we can do that this Thursday. And I hope you guys had a happy Easter and have a good start to your week. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.